Welcome to Vancouver Graveyard, in which we visit local cemeteries to remember and celebrate our dearly departed. Today we're in the green pastures of Vancouver's beautiful Mountain View Cemetery to remember victims of the greatest maritime tragedy in the history of the Pacific Northwest. The SS Princess Sophia was a beautiful steamship built in 1912. She was a strong steel vessel, so solid in fact that when they named her, they ignored the old superstition that a name ending with an A is bad luck. Her home port was Victoria, and she moved goods, mail, and people to Alaska every two weeks. This is a model of the Sophia. At 10 p.m. on October 23, 1918, the Sophia departed from Skagway, Alaska, three hours behind schedule. There were around 350 people on board, including soldiers, miners, families, and a solid crew. Captain Leonard Locke had 25 years experience. Shortly after leaving port, a north wind accelerated to 50 knots. The captain knew it was the witch of November come early. With heavy fog and snow, there was zero visibility. The Sophia was blown dangerously off course. Four hours into her journey, at 2 a.m. on October 24th, the Sophia ran aground on Vanderbilt Reef. She had not sustained any immediate damage. Here she is, 10 hours after hitting the reef. Several vessels were dispatched to assist, but the captain said seas were too rough to transfer passengers, so the other vessels retreated. The weather got worse, and the vicious waves slashed the Sophia. Parents tried their best to calm their frightened children in the harrowing darkness. On the 25th, the storm blew the Sophia off the rocks and shredded her hull. At 5.20 p.m., her wireless operator, David Robinson, wired in, For God's sakes, hurry. The water is coming into my room. At 6 p.m., she was gone. When rescuers finally arrived, the only thing above water was the ship's mast. There were no survivors except for a dog on a nearby island. Many of the bodies were eventually recovered, and 66 of them were laid to rest here at Mountain View. Here is James Alexander, who was 50 years old when he died. He was a colorful entrepreneur who was about to sell his mine for a million dollars. He is interred with his wife, Louise Abigail, who was also lost in the Sophia. Right beside them is another victim, John McLeod, aged 55 from Scotland. And here is Jack Maskell. When they recovered Jack's body, they found a letter in his pocket. He had written to his wife back in England. It said, My own dear sweetheart, I am writing this, my dear girl, while the boat is in grave danger. We struck a rock last night, which threw many from their berths. Women rushed out in their night attire. Some were crying, some too weak to move. The lifeboats were swung out in all readiness, but owing to the storm would be madness to launch until there was no hope for the ship. Surrounding ships were notified by wireless, and in three hours the first steamer came, but cannot get near owing to the storm raging in the reef which we are on. There are now seven ships near. We are expecting the lights to go out any minute. The boat might go to pieces, for the force of the waves are terrible, making awful noises on the side of the boat. No one is allowed to sleep. I made my will this morning, leaving everything to you, my own true love, Dory dear. I like to think that sweet Dory made the trip and stood right here to remember her brave husband Jack. Here is another heartbreaking plot. The Maritime Museum of British Columbia installed a memorial stone here in 1918, the 100th anniversary of the disaster. This honors one of the families that was lost. William and Sarah O'Brien lived in Whitehorse and boarded the Sophia in Skagway with their five children, ages 2 through 14, Grace, Pearl, William Jr., Robert, and the baby, Ruth May. The bodies were recovered inside Stateroom 35. The stone says the O'Briens are gone, but not forgotten. Divers recovered many items from the Sophia that have made their way into museums, including this light. And in my next vlog, I'm going inside the Vancouver Maritime Museum to see a very special artifact from the ship. Thank you for watching and remembering the lost souls of the SS Princess Sophia. Be sure to check out my other episodes of Vancouver Graveyard. Hope you enjoyed this 
little taste of old Vancouver as she once was, please like and subscribe. Until next time, as my late grandpa used to say, be good to the other. <laughs>